Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 17 where we are back at the circuit Termas de Rio Hondo in Argentina for the 2018 Argentinian MotoGP Grand Prix. Up next is Moto2. We actually had a pretty decent result in Moto3 earlier on. We managed to snag a podium on the last lap of the race. We were side by side across the line so that was an awesome race to bring up the first race of the day in round two. So we'll be looking to hopefully get a similar result here in Moto2. Hello and welcome to the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina for live coverage of the Moto2 race. It looks like the weather is going to be unpredictable for this race. It was raining until a short time ago, but if the situation continues to improve, the track will probably dry out before too long. So as you can see, it's still wet. Uh, it's not as wet as what it was in the Moto3 race. Uh, I've decided to sort of make it not quite as, well, make the rain not quite as heavy, although it is light rain, so it's probably going to be off and on throughout the race. I've tried to keep it as up to date with the sort of real world weather forecast as possible, but you never know in Argentina. So for those that are new to my channel or this is your first, uh, first time sort of watching one of my videos, I do like to keep my sim racing and sports gaming as up to date and as realistic as possible. So this is MotoGP 17, it's last year's game, although we've got a full 2018 mod where we have all the new liveries, all the new riders, all the new logos. So it all feels and seems like the 2018 season, but uh, one thing that may not be as accurate as the current year, well, as it is in real life in this sort of year, is some of the rider performance may not be up to date. You know, riders changing teams and whatnot, it's still early in the season to tell who's fast and what's not. You can't really judge of just the one race in Qatar and how sort of unique the Qatar track is. So... Anyway, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into today's race. It is round two of the season. Round one, we didn't have quite the result we were hoping for in Moto2. I just seem to be struggling with this bike, and I'm actually still struggling with it this weekend. I just cannot get a hold of the Calyx, but we supposedly should have the pace. We are on definitely one of the best team's bikes, so there's no excuse. We just, <laughs> I guess we just have to go out there and try our best every time and hopefully learn as we go throughout the year. Alrighty, so qualifying, we actually qualified 16th out of the 33, so we are a fair way down the field. We are, well, we're dead even with the middle of the pack, so definitely got a lot of work to do throughout the race. As you see, Juan Mir on the pole, Fanati on second, so it's definitely not going to be an easy race to get through the field, but we'll do our best as it is a long race. It's 12 laps in total, so it's approximately half of what it is in real life. And as you can see, it is wet, so it is going to be a long and hard race. We're definitely have, going to have to look after that rear tyre. Just waiting for those lights to go out, and the riders will take these last few seconds to focus on the race ahead. Righty, here we go. Round two of the year in Moto2. It's still wet, so it's definitely not going to be easy. Right, here we go. Round two in Moto2. Argentina, it's going to be a tough one. Fighting for grip off the line. Try and get to the inside here. Oh, well, I just set up a bit. There's no traction out here, like, at all. Oh, wow. Elbow's out. Beep, beep. Alright, we're in the slipstream, come on, try and get some more up into ninth, it's a good start. Oh, that's very deep under brakes. Two for the price of one. Gosh, it's so, it's, it's so hard to get used to these conditions, it's not as wet as what it was in qualifying. Hit 
is absolutely fighting the rear tyre right now. It's just complaining the whole way through the corner. Oh no! Oh no! Wow! Okay, that is not what we wanted. Alright, I've got to drop all the way down to dead last. We tried to make the big move up the inside, but didn't quite pull it off as well as I'd hoped. Come back is on. Just ran slightly wide on that second and last corner and just sort of ran up into him a bit. It really sucks because we had a really good start there. Oh wow, that's sort of rain <laughs> just hit us on the back straight like a brick wall there. Oh, go you good thing. out coming through the field. Come on, grip. Oof. Be careful not to low side it here. I'm seriously deep on the brakes compared to the AI. Second time round, we did. Alright, gone from 33rd to 18th in one lap, so that's not bad. <laughs> For those that are wondering what difficulty I'm on, uh, we, this is the hardest difficulty, I believe it's through. I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called Realistic, I'm not too sure. I play so many different games now, I always forget which difficulty is which game. It sucks because we were well up inside the top 10 and I think we could have challenged for the top 5 at the pace we have. I'm surprised how good our race pace is compared to our qualifying pace. And our qualifying pace was actually rather shit. <laughs> I'm just so I'm so worried to pass people now. Ever since I uh, came up on the first lap, oh God, I'm worried I'm gonna run into them again and low side like how we did. So I'm giving them all way too much room. Come on, go. Big move. Oh, three for the price of one. I'll take that. Alright, up into 12, wow. We definitely got some pace at the early sort of stages of this race, that's for sure. It's just feeding the throttle on, it's so slippery. Draft. See if we can get another one. Oh my god. Brakes. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Ah, she stopped. Good. Oh, so hard to get that one right. Sort of on the edge of being flat out. Oh, hello. 
Oh, rip. He ain't giving up. See the top ten again. Well, we've come a long way. I'm surprised we have this much pace. I just hope it stays this way. Inside the top 10, my goal today was to get a top 10, so if we can just hold here, I'd be really happy with this result. But we'll keep fighting ahead, see how many more positions we can gain. I made some changes in the morning warm-up and they definitely feel a lot better. I just that was a shit lap I need to wake up. This is on the hardest difficulty uh, you can set, so obviously the AI seems to be a little bit uh, slower in the race, I don't know if that's a common theme on MotoGP 17, I doubt our changes have made this much of an improvement in pace, but the bike definitely feels better, so maybe it's a combination of both. <laughs> Ah, that's... Oh, my lordy me. It's so hard to straighten up for that braking zone. Shoot, you got to get over to the left side of the track, but you don't want to go too far over to the left as uh, Exhibit A. Increased the rake and trail a bit in the morning warm up, and that definitely helped out quite a bit. No idea why, because my knowledge on two wheels is absolutely useless. I just read the manual and go by the book. <laughs> Seems to work out alright. Alright, stop raining. I think this is a guitar in front of us. Yep. Caught up a bit on that section. We're just over halfway, so we've got plenty of time left. It's just stopped raining. Well, not raining as hard. So 
far. Oh, stay on the track there. Do not want to hit those painted white lines. I mean, in here they don't really make much of a difference, but in real life, holy crap. If I, <laughs> if I was racing in real life right now, I think I would be on my ass after lap one, the way I'm riding this bike. <laughs> Thankfully, it's a video game, so we can get away with it. <laughs> Five laps to go. Come on, Joseph. Let's get a few more. Oh, big move. Made it work, though. Into eight. Previous MotoGP games that I've played, this track on that corner is so bumpy and it just understeers like a pig. Oh, well, started reading again. Quite a bit to the guys in front. We've got Bagnar in front of us. Last year's Murdo 3 rider. I think he's our teammate as well. I'm still trying to keep up with all the changes and whatnot to the lineups this year. It's so hard coming from like Australia where I used to live, it, it's not really much on in the summer except for like cricket, rugby, AFL, and whatnot. Well, when it comes to news-wise, like we're off-season news, so we don't really get to keep up much with the MotoGP. But I'll hopefully recognise a few new liveries and sort of drivers attached to them over the season. But a top five is only three places up the road, so... That would be an incredible result if we can snag a top five. Oh, not by doing that! Fuck! That freaking curve again! God damn it. that curb. <laughs> alright, it's alright, nothing happened. Two laps to go, come on. Three laps to go, sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, Donkey! Oh, I did this exact same thing in the first round. When am I going to freaking learn? I can't cut that curve, Joseph.
God, I had a top five just sitting there on the table. Oh, sorry, second to last lap. Alright guys, sorry about that. It seems uh, my mic seemed to stop working on that last lap there, but fundamentally it's a pretty good race to come back and finish 11th. It's pretty disappointing with all the sort of crashes that happened. I definitely feel like I should have been well inside the top 10, maybe even the top 5. Almost had that top 10 on the last lap, just sort of struggled with a lack of grip. Uh, of that rear tyre, but all in all it was a fun race, I just, I need to start picking my game up in Moto2, I just keep making too many mistakes, it was like a complete repeat of the first race, but we did come over with an, uh, with an 11th place finish, so it's an improvement I guess you could say, 
uh, I felt like the race pace was a lot better than our qualifying pace. But yeah, anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed uh, what was a pretty dismal performance, but a pretty interesting race at times, to say the least. Uh, if you didn't see my Moto3 race earlier on, go check that out. That was really awesome. Uh, well, awesome to race in. Hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. And then also stay tuned as we're just about to go and run the main game in MotoGP where we've actually managed to qualify 12th. Uh, so we've got decent pace. I actually completely screwed up qualifying. So hopefully we can actually move up through the field throughout the race. And well, I'm just hoping it's dry earth in this because this is extremely difficult in the rain. But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.